Hey guys, it's Alex, and welcome back to a brand new video. So, I just finished recording the sixth part of my Airbnb V2.0 series, so if you follow that, you can go ahead and check it out. It should be out right now. Um, but, uh, what I decided to do is, so I in that video, I do a jQuery slider. And it's really simple, although it takes me 30 minutes because, you know, I keep on making typos. Uh, but I have a playlist called uh, JavaScript uh, Tips and Tricks and haven't uploaded in about a year. So that's why I want to make a video about it and we're going to make a slider. So it's really uh, fast forward. I mean, I hope the video is really fast forward. So what you're going to need is a jQuery and a JavaScript file. That's all. So there's my jQuery and that's my JavaScript file right here. All right. So let's get started. So you need to create a a wrapper or um, actually this can be used in whatever case you want so I have created a slider and it's styled you know position relative height 600 pixels and you know all that fun stuff uh, now what you can do what now what you need to do actually is create as many as slides that you want so I'm gonna call this slide so each slide is gonna be a div with a class of slides so you can see I'm gonna say number one here I'm just gonna copy it here so it's a little bit faster. Two, three. I'm gonna make two. I mean three. Uh, and there we go. Three. Now when we refresh, they're one under each other, but we want to make them 100%. So I'm just gonna come here and say slide position absolute with 100% height. Height. Ah, oh, come on height uh, 100% and then let's say background background color teal which is 08080 there we go now we have you can see that only the third part is showing so you know to say which one you want to be default you're gonna give it a class of active so when we refresh it's um, not nothing's gonna happen because uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say display none there we go and but if you give the you know we want the active one to be uh, visible so we're gonna say display block there we go and now uh, what you also need is uh, just two arrows like I mean you can you can even put text or whatever. It doesn't. It doesn't even have to be here. It can be anywhere in the page. It can even be in here. You know, you can just mess with, mess with them however you want. I've just created two simple paragraph tags. One of them has left uh, and ID of left arrow. The other one has an ID of right arrow. That's all you need. All right. So now let's get into the real fun part. So um. First thing is we're gonna do when we uh, when we click over this um, the next arrow. So actually, I just wanna say cursor pointer and cursor pointer here as well. Refresh. There we go. Um, all right. So whenever we click on the next arrow, which is the right arrow, so I'm gonna target that one. So right arrow. When we click it, so dot click, we're gonna run a function. So function. There we go. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to say two variables. So var current slide equals then the jQuery selector and we're going to target slide dot active. So our current slide is this one that has a class of active, right? Yeah. And then our next slide is going to be uh, current slide dot next there's a pre-built function in jQuery called next which are which target is targets uh, the next uh, child uh, now I'm gonna leave a little bit of space here we're gonna say whenever we click on the right arrow something should happen so we're gonna fade out so current slide dot fade out 300 which means in 300 milliseconds it's gonna happen you can put whatever you want 3000 is three seconds um fade out and then also remove remove class act so now let's check it out when we click it you can see that it switches but nothing else comes after it so now we're gonna say next slide dot fade in 
300 and, uh, and we're gonna add the class of active refresh and you can see that we have you know a slider but look what happens after we come to the third one when we come to the third one it just ends right and that's not what we want what we're gonna do now is we're gonna create a simple if so if next slide dot length equals zero which means if there's nothing after the next slide you know the last slide then we're gonna say um we're gonna target slide not dot active dot first the first child and then we're gonna say fade in for 300 seconds and then we're gonna add class of active so let's refresh now and check one two three one two three one two three and so on there we go so now we have you know the next button but what happens when you click the previous button nothing happens so that's what we're gonna do um we're gonna target uh, the ne the previous button which is i i called it left left arrow but you can call it whatever you want we're gonna say dot click and we're gonna run a function when you click it then in the semicolon right here now we're gonna we're gonna define two variables again so current slide equals slide dot active and then of our previous slide equals current slide dot prev also prebuilt function in jQuery which, st which stands for previous now we're gonna say current slide dot uh, fade out 300 dot remove class active and that all happens when we click left to arrow now we're gonna say prev slide. Hold on a second. Prev slide. Come on. Dot fade in three three hundred milliseconds again. Dot add a class active. All right, let's check it out. We're, you can see that we run one, and when you click it, you know there's nothing after one. I mean before one, so that's why it's a blank screen. But let's go to three, and you can see that it actually works. But you know we don't want when we go back to go back to nothing. So that's why we're also gonna create another statement, an if statement, which is gonna be the same thing. So prev slide dot length. Uh, equals zero. So if there's nothing before the uh, the previous slide, we're gonna say we're gonna also target slide again. Dot last this time also prebuilt function jQuery. Dot fade in three hundred and then we're gonna add the class of active. Let's refresh and voila. You know next and then when we go back, it's gonna go back to three. So that's a really simple way to create a slider in jQuery. You can do whatever you want. You can add images here. You can add links, buttons, whatever you want, forums. Uh, so you're not sliding images. You're sliding this, which I think is better. So hope you guys enjoyed. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to sub uh, <laughs> not slap that like button to slap that like button and subscribe so you don't miss a video. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.